Voices was uh, founded in 2014 and we are based in Norrköping, Sweden. We are a software company and uh, we de develop a 3D engine used for teleoperation and remote operation. Voices and Intel, we have a common interest in the 5G launch that's happening now around the world. 5G will, will mean a lot to teleoperation and remote operation and it will also uh, increase the load on the computing platforms. Uh, so everybody moving into the space of teleoperation by using 5G will need both, both of us. So we have a very simple demo set up here at the center where you can drive a small one to five scale RC car over the LTE network, the public uh, 4G LTE network uh, in Sweden. So uh, the driver in this case is using a VR headset. With our system, you could also, as an alternative, use a projected dome environment or a, a monitor wall. But inside the VR headset, in this case, you will see the view as if you were inside the, the car. The system works very well with the, with the public 4G LTE network today, but the improvements we, we see in 5G is three major things. One is the, the latency. So 5G will give us a shorter latency and there is a direct relation between latency and the speed at which you can drive. So higher productivity. Uh, secondly, 5G will give us a better bandwidth and for us that means better uh, video uh, picture or shorter latency, you can use it for whatever you want. Uh, and thirdly, 5G will have better tools to secure bandwidth so that when you need to remote control or teleoperate a car or a machine, the bandwidth will be there for sure. So customers uh, of ours are using the teleoperation system within the forestry industry, within mining, uh, construction, but the main use case is for autonomous driving. Some of our customers are developing trucks, for example, that has no cabins. Uh, so in their case, they need to have the safety driver in a remote location. The advantage of having the driver in a remote location is, of course, that you could also monitoring more than one car or truck. The important thing when you are remotely operating a machine or a vehicle is that latency do not peak when bandwidth is dropping rapidly. So that's a very difficult problem that we are solving where we are unique. Uh, secondly, we have our own 3D engine with which you can render an immersive driving environment. And one of the basic advantages of this is that you get a better assessment for speed. And that's a very uh, useful thing because it makes drivers secure and they can drive faster. Thirdly, you can use the 3D render engine to render augmented reality-like features that could assist the driver while driving. Latency, of course, is not not only network latency, but you will also have a latency in all the computing parts of the platform. And that's where Intel will play a major role.